Yo guys, I'm making this video because this um, manual for the iVehicle Daily, this is the 2015 mod model, just come in handy massively. So, I might need this in the future and here it is for you as well. So, The relays, most importantly. Yep. Happy to find that because basically, on this car here, it's not starting. It's got flashing um, instrument panel, and I've basically just put a feed my flashlight on there I put a feed from like that big red cable onto that fuse so that whole middle section there is completely dead and it's causing the car not to start so I think that may be a main relay or something is stopping power supply getting to this so I needed this relay diagram here because this car's got so many relays I had no idea what's what at the moment the washer jets stuck on as well so there might be something really well I don't know I got the car started just now this this oh, nice thing going on here right, turn it back on I just got the jump pack on to keep the battery powered up so this is the the relays Yeah, well, the customer's gonna get excited that I've done something, but I ain't done nothing yet. <sighs> so it's running, yeah? Let me uh, just show you guys this walk. I'm just using a little bit of time to think. Whoops. So we pull my wire out. It'll pull it out there and now what noise yeah turn the ignition on I'm gonna see it won't stop got these flashing fuel gauges and whatnot say it won't stop so only when I put that wire back in, it will start. I want to try and pull them relays and see which one's got continuity back to here. And then I can see if I'm on the right path. Come on, baby. I hope you guys saw that. Anyway, I have to make some noise for a minute. Let's go and pull some relays. And hopefully, I'll find out what's going on. What's up, guys? One again, mate. I have one again, mate. Right, listen, because this whole row is connected by one power supply, so I left the customer of the car running over the weekend by just bypassing it, by putting the fuse from one point to another. But it's not the best thing to do. And one thing that I was confused about was here. I don't know why my brain didn't work last week, but this 
this this pin here had no power coming to it and I should have just gone straight back to the battery but now I'm back I think for a fresh fresh air eyes on it again this one here is this fuse here and that fuse there is blown okay look 12 volts no volts and as simple as that so I just got to find that fuse find one of those fuses put it in and then I've won I mean Getting up there, mate. I mean, this is a tipper van. I'm glad to fix it. I was about to sign up for Haynes Pro. You know, that's £60 for diagrams. But I, I didn't do it. I just, just, mate, I don't use it enough. And most of the time, with these diagrams, the ones that you get, they're really rubbish, mate. Like, just waste of money. So, look, I'll fix it without it. Happy days, yeah? Boom. Hopefully, I'll help you. Local um, iVehicle dealer is like 40 minutes away, so that's going to add like, what, nearly two hours labour to the job, so I thought, rather than charging him £100 to go find a fuse, <laughs> I'll just try this Halfers one. Halfers was just a few minutes down the road. Come like a multi-pack. And this is the 80 amp, so hopefully can stick it into this gap if I'm lucky might just work it might just work like that cover it up bolt it down job done fingers crossed it doesn't blow again I think they, they blew it while jump starting the car mate it actually worked I'm serious I'm surprised I'm surprised all right man I won can't lie, this thing didn't really work, it fell apart, so I'll put it in, but, you know, I'll just leave it there to rattle around. It says 80 amps on there anyway. But we've won, so let me just put this back. Bridging wire out. I literally bridged one fuse to the middle row to power it up. Got rid of that now, so we're done. And the symptoms on this was basically central locking not working, windows not working, washer pump going off on its own. It's doing a lot really. But yeah, definitely check that if you have this problem. Hopefully, I covered it well enough. I just saw this. So I thought I'd show it to you. What would you change first? So that's absolutely crazy. Crazy. Ugh. So it doesn't look like anyone put oil in it. Like like try to put um, oil directly into there. You never really know these days, but it doesn't look like it. You've seen some sort of spillage. But this is oil mixing in the coolant, so I would say it's either going to be the oil cooler. It's a good chance it could be. And if not that, then we can look at ooh, a gasket. Well, if there's anything else, let me know.